Nightclub Inferno scores dead as show goes tragically wrong. They were jumping out the windows and, and out the front door there were people on fire. Blair's clearest signal yet, there will be war on Iraq. Are we just going to hope that somehow Saddam is going to have a change of heart? And confusion over coffee warnings for expectant mums. The ITV Evening News with Mark Austin and Katie Derry. Good evening. Scores dead, many more seriously injured. That's the appalling toll after a rock band's fireworks show went disastrously wrong at a nightclub in America. Dramatic pictures capture the desperate moments inside the Rhode Island club when the fire broke out. Latest reports say at least 65 people have been killed, either burnt alive, suffocated or trapped in the crush to escape the inferno. One eyewitness said the entire club was ablaze within just two minutes. Robert Moore reports. This was a disaster that engulfed the nightclub with shocking speed. Several hundred concert goers fleeing for their lives. At first, the evacuation appeared calm. The emergency services reaching the scene. But the horror was inside, with dozens of people trapped. Sparks started flying around and then the place just went up and, and everybody just tried to get out and they were jumping out the windows and, and out the front door there were people on fire. We ran towards the back exit where we were and the smoke like overcame us and we just all dropped to the ground and, and just like crawled out. Rapidly the injury toll rose. No one at this stage could guess how many had died. The origins of the tragedy were caught on video by a camera crew filming a story on nightclub safety. Pyrotechnics, part of a stage act by the band, ignited material around the ceiling. And at first, no one guessed how quickly the fire would spread. Some exits appeared blocked, billowing smoke barely hinting of the tragedy inside. The band's lead singer remembered the moment it began. There's some pyro going, and all of a sudden, the next thing you know, the whole thing went up. I mean, I would, I would rather be, you know, in there myself than have these people dead. I mean, these are my fans, and, and we love them, and I just, I just, there's no words to describe how I feel right now. I'm in total shock. The true scale of this tragedy, the worst nightclub disaster for many decades, only became apparent after daylight. The emergency services are still struggling to establish a final death toll. Robert Moore, ITV News in the United States. Well, let's go live now to Pat Dawson, who's on the scene. Uh, Pat, uh, what's the latest you have there? Well, Mark, the latest is certainly no better news than what your reporter just uh, had in his report, and that is that unofficially now, town officials here are saying the death toll is at 75 people and is expected that it may in fact go even higher than that. The death toll has been steadily mounting for the last 12 hours as firefighters and rescue officials behind me pull bodies out of what is uh, really just charred wreckage over there. There's no building left. Uh, at this point, the governor of the state of Rhode Island says the most important thing is for those who are in the club and got out safely, please call in, check in, so that they can make an accurate accounting of the living and the dead. Mark? And Pat, I assume questions are already being asked about why fireworks were being used inside the nightclub. And those are and those are questions that the uh, state officials here are asking the state attorney general's office as well as the state police. I've launched an investigation into just how this could have happened. Uh, there is a state license that's required in Rhode Island and many other states in the United States for anyone to do this kind of a uh, performance with pyrotechnics inside. Uh, apparently, according to the uh, state fire marshal's office, that license was never applied for by this club. Mark? Okay, NBC's Pat Dawson, thanks very much for joining us.